This story happened a couple of years ago. I was looking for the right opportunity to tell it, but with too much work on my hands and too much on my schedule, I couldn't find the right time. So I finally got a chance. This is a story that happened a couple of years back, somewhere in October. It was Halloween. I was getting ready and I was going out with my girlfriend to a Halloween party. I rushed over to pick her up. We took a drive for a little while. After that, we finally made it to the party. We were in the party. We got drunk, very drunk. And due to the fact that we were both wasted, I couldn't find the opportunity to drive back home due to the fact that I was drunk and I couldn't drive. I couldn't risk it. So we just decided to spend the night at our friend's house where we celebrated the Halloween party. It was somewhere in the middle of the night and I heard a strange sound like it was coming from outside. Something strange that doesn't sound familiar, but it sounds quite common since it was still in the middle of the night. I just heard these weird laughing sounds, like someone was outside. For me, I just took a wild guess that they were more trick-or-treaters. I checked my phone, and it was the middle of the night. It was like 3 in the morning. I took a peek out the window. No one was there. I went back to sleep and forgot about it. And then suddenly, this happened. I woke up, but it wasn't at my friend's house. I woke up in a strange place. It looked abandoned. It was all cluttered with broken furniture. It looked like a prison. Or close to an asylum, I would say. I didn't know where I was. I woke up in a weird bed. It was all covered in roaches. I decided to get up and try to look for something. All my friends were gone. I tried searching for my girlfriend, but she was missing too. I took a walk around the place, but it was too dark. Not even the lights were working. I tried flickering a couple of lights on. None of the switches ever responded. And then I heard it again. I was shocked in fear. I couldn't move for a few seconds. After I recovered, I decided to get out of that room. I looked through the hallways. They were completely empty and dark. It was infested with rats. Rats were everywhere. I had tried to use my phone for a flashlight. I was glad that my phone still worked, but there was no signal neither. I was guessing it was somewhere in a far away place. I was starting to freak out. I used my phone and then I noticed that it was almost down to 20% of battery, so that means I didn't have enough time. I knew that I had to get out of there quick to find help. I went through the hallway. I was too scared to run around, so I decided to walk. I was trying to evade those laughing noises, whoever that was. I was just guessing, maybe it's just a prank or something. I'm just not into it. I looked around, nothing else, just a bunch of cluttered furniture, destroyed and ruined, and it smelled like urine. I looked around. Nothing. I tried finding the exit. I found a window, but it was broken. It was covered in shattered glass. I tried opening it, but there was too much glass in the way. I didn't want to cut myself. I tried finding something to break it with, but the furniture just smelled too horrible. 
I didn't want it to touch him. So I just decided to cut my losses and find another way out. And then those screams just get closer and closer to me. It started to freak me out. I couldn't take it anymore. I knew that I had to run. I, I tried running, but I was too wasted. I still felt drunk. I tried looking for any opens. Nothing. What is going on here? Where am I? Who is this person? And then I saw a shadow. <laughs> I was frozen in fear. It looked like a man, but something was wrong with his face, like it's been cut off. I knew that I had to get out of there. I tried running, but my legs wouldn't move. He was on to me. <laughs> it shocked me right to the core. Even my legs responded. I ran and ran as fast as I could, but I couldn't find a way out. I tried searching for an exit until he finally got close to me. I turned around and I took one good look at his face. <laughs> his face was completely peeled out. It was missing a few particles. I tried not to move, but I couldn't bear it. It caused me to barf and faint. But I woke up again, and I was suddenly back in my friend's house. I didn't know what happened. Was it just a dream? I would say so. But, you know, I never remembered. I just woke up in my friend's house with my girlfriend next to me and never remembered that dream at all. And to this day, I remember. So I took advantage and finally told you the story about this dream. I wanted to say, where am I?